Good evening, viewers. Once again, it's our pleasure to share with you in our regular five o'clock TV engagement. This is the Church of the Nazarene Family Forum, and uh, we have surely enjoyed connecting with you for the past month, focusing on the important area of family life. As I, as I always like to say, just in case there are persons who are hearing us for the first time, we are kind of focusing on the family because we believe in the Babylonian society, some of the ills that we see present themselves, the genesis of them is kind of grounded in the family. And we believe that if we can tackle some of these areas, confront them, um, and of course, not just identifying areas of concern, but surely possible solutions as well that we'll be able to improve the relationship in our family and ultimately build a better Barbados. So that's the motivation for this program. And today is no different. Well, um, I have in the studio with me, as usual, my co-host, Reverend Anson Kelman. Pleasure to believe in you. And uh, we are graced with a beautiful lady joining us today, um, Miss, Mrs. Janice Jimmett. Janice? Good afternoon. All right. Um, Janice Jimmett is going to be our guest today. And um, we are focusing on the theme, Enhancing Teacher-Pupil Relationship in the COVID-19 Environment. And uh, I trust that as we would share that you would invite a friend, um, a parent, even a pupil to join and share with us today. Um, Janice is a guidance counselor for over 20 years, 20, 21 years or so, and in the secondary school environment, doing excellent work. And um, Janice is also married for the past 33 years to a minister of religion, Reverend Kazuo Jimmy, and uh, they have two beautiful adult, young adult daughters as well. So she's also a parent. And I uh, know that many years of experience that she has, she'll be able to share with us on this topic, teacher pupil relationship specifically relating, of course, to the COVID-19 environment. So I trust that as we will share, that you would benefit. But I want to read a verse from the Bible um, to begin our session. And uh, it's taken from Deuteronomy chapter 32 and uh, verse 2, which says, Let my teaching fall like rain, and my words descend like dew, like showers on new grass, like abundant rain on tender plants. And we are hoping that's what teachers, um, as they teach, will want to do, connect with their students in productive ways. Well, we going to say a word of prayer and then we will be back with you in a minute. Father, we thank you for your word. Thank you for this occasion where we can share on the important area of teacher people relationship, especially during this difficult time. We pray that as we share today, you will guide us into truth, into all truth. This is my prayer for Christ's sake. Amen. The Church of the Nazarene Family Forum. Shaping our society for the future by enhancing our homes and securing our destiny. Come join us every Sunday at 5 p.m. on CBC TV 8 as we turn the spotlight on an aspect of family life of critical importance to us. Tune in and be blessed. Well, it's going to be back with you this evening as we survey the topic of the teacher people relationship in the COVID 19 environment. And we have so I want to share with us who is uh, very adept in this topic. We know that this has been a time of phenomenal change as we've had to 
uh, use a different kind of medium in which to engage. And therefore, we want to invite at this time uh, Sir Jeremy to share with us on this, on this topic. Thank you for having me. Good afternoon. Yes. Um, as we think of school in this online environment or the COVID environment as it's coined because of the time we're in, um, teachers are being asked to extend themselves, as it were, because you have to use different technologies, different uh, methods of teaching now that you are in this online environment. And I just have four things that, that I think uh, that are important. <laughs> Obviously, there are others, but four that I think that are important as it relates to the online classroom. Uh, first of all, the teacher has to be the leader within the online classroom. They're setting the tone, um, they're bringing assurances to their students, and you know, they're giving their students opportunity to, to be within that space because normally in the face-to-face -face it's a little different, it's a lot different, mm -hmm. uh, where you can see your students, your students can see you, and the engagement is very much easier than when you are in the online environment. In the mm -hmm. online environment you have um, just a blank screen. Um, if you've ever seen a Google Classroom, they're just circles with a letter. And um, that's the type of engagement that, that goes on. So the teacher now has to be in a position to engage her students or his students at a level where the student gets comfortable with the technology, gets comfortable to be able to speak and to participate in that type of, type of environment. Um, the teacher must set boundaries. Um, so boundaries are important because, um, uh, let, me, let me just backtrack as it relates to boundaries. I tell my parents that they have the power, first of all, in this environment because the students are at home, in the classroom, mm -hmm. that that power has shifted um, to the teacher because the mm -hmm. teacher is the authority figure there. So in the home setting, um, the, the parent becomes that. Um, so as the teacher sets the boundaries, what is expected of you as a student? And remember, the teacher is leading, so the teacher is leading by example as well. And the student sees what the teacher leads, and therefore the student is easier to follow. Is easier to follow. So the, the whether the cameras should be on for the teacher so that the uh, communication can actually occur, and um, and that's important as well. So there are deadlines, and the deadlines should be in such that the student can follow. I found that in online things came a little bit fluid, because you're at home, you can shoot off an email, um, expect a response normally. You have WhatsApp chats of, of forums. Mm -hmm. So sometimes messages are always coming. And then students may begin to feel overwhelmed because of that and teachers themselves. So mm -hmm. it's important that those boundaries are set. If school finishes at two o'clock, then I shouldn't be sending you an assignment at 10. Or you shouldn't be responding to a, 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 an, a, or sending an assignment at 10 o'clock at night if there, if there are limits that are in place. So those boundaries are important for the physical and mental health of not only the students, but the teachers as well. Um, communication is vital in any type of relationship, face-to-face -face in school, parent-child, student-teacher relationship. But when you are working online, communication just moves to a different level because like I said, there's this blank screen and you're trying to engage these 32 students that you may have from your space in your home and, and they're in their individual homes, so communication becomes important. And when you think of the nature of communication, uh, research has shown that 7% of the words people understand, 7% of the words that are said, but 55% of the meaning comes from the facial expression, the body language, what, the, what this, the, the person you're communicating with is able to see, and another 38% comes from voice inflection. Mm -hmm. So you don't really get to see me if I don't turn on my camera. I don't get to see you if you don't turn on your camera. So then, if we are saying, if the research is correct, and meaning comes from 7% of the word, and more of that comes from body language, facial expression, and tone, it makes you wonder, okay, what is being conveyed in this state of, of environment? So then there's some things that must take place because we have to be in an online until we can work out how we're gonna manage this COVID um, situation. So cameras, it's important that our cameras are on so that mm -hmm. our students can see us mm -hmm. and hopefully that we can see them as long as parents allow it. Mm -hmm. um, so that that communication, what we're conveying to our students, not only um, the knowledge or the information that we want them to get about the subject, mm -hmm. but being able to see how they are and they can see how we are, how we are managing this situation as well. Mm -hmm. That's important, I think. And then being able to listen. You give your students a chance to chat before you begin, so you don't have to be there. You set up your parameters, again, boundaries, what you can dis discuss within our space. 
And then you give them a chance to just say, how are you doing? You know, just check in, how are you doing? And you give your students that opportunity to do that. If you're in face-to-face, -face, you can easily see them in the car, what's going on? How are things going? Mm -hmm. You can do that easily when you're face-to-face. -face. It has to be intentional um, when you are in online. So you allow that to happen. So the, the, the teacher is a leader in the classroom. You have to set those boundaries. And when you set those boundaries, you are consistent in the boundaries that you set. Communication is important, so the teacher has to be intentional when he or she is communicating with their students, which means that you should really turn on your camera so that your teachers, your students can, can see you. And then it's important that you listen. Allow them to listen to each other, and you are also listening to them mm -hmm. outside of the information you're hoping to convey. So that's it for me as we think the, I think the important things that, that jump out. Yeah, yeah. Right? Yeah. And all, and all, as, as um, as uh, Jazz was speaking, um, Coco, Coco Jazz yes, of course. <laughs> 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 um, I, I was kind of thinking about the the environment, though, of a student, and um, the the reality that the teacher has no real control over that, mm -hmm. and how the, how that kind of impacts or even impairs the whole the whole process of of um, of Educating and, edu and educating generally. Yeah. What, what are your thoughts about that? Uh, that's that's why I said the parent in this scenario you know, yeah. has the power. Mm -hmm. So when we look at the, the parent and student, the parent has to make con uh, set the tone for their home as a classroom. Yeah. And, and that's providing though that the parent has that control because um, they may be living at uh, maybe in laws or mm -hmm. um, yes. an extended family arrangement, mm -hmm. and of course that puts pressure then in terms of being able to. So monitor, mm -hmm. you know, and yeah, right, the, the right. environment, you know. Yeah. Um, I think also important there is the case where um, parents have to work. Yes. 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 So that's where maybe a, an, an older child mm -hmm. would assume that parental role. So there are issues that have to be resolved. Yeah. But we're going to come back in a minute. Uh, I really appreciate those points that you've shared. Um, the, they're, they're very, very important, I think, and pointed. So we're back in a minute. The Church of the Nazarene Family Forum, shaping our society for the future by enhancing our homes and securing our destiny. Come join us every Sunday at 5 p.m. on CBC TV 8 as we turn the spotlight on an aspect of family life of critical importance to us. Tune in and be blessed. Well, we were talking about the whole issue of the uh, student environment and um, you know, um, so Jeremy spoke to the whole issue of the parent being in control, and then we were talking a little bit about um, the parent is not there as as one important condition in terms of the whole uh, monitor of the of the environment. And I was wondering as well, though, you know, as as you were sharing, though, um, as it relates to the whole the, the whole ability for the person to navigate the technology as another. Added, um, you know, challenge for the to the environment. What, what are your thoughts? Yeah, there, there's yeah. a challenge because yeah. when we first started out, I didn't know about Google Classroom. <laughs> I knew about Zoom, but not yeah. about Google Classroom. Mm -hmm. So the ministry, um, through Erdison, would have done training for the staff. Um, individual schools, like my school, we would have done training for our staff as well. Mm -hmm. um, we would have done that for our students, would have done that for our parents. So I'm assuming that yes. that would have been done across the board right, for right. all schools. Mm -hmm. They would have done that type of thing. Um, and we would have done that for our PTAs as well, just to give them an idea as to, to what is happening. Um, uh, because when you set up your Google Classroom, parents' um, emails can be set up as well, along with the students, so they have an idea. And there's lots of um, platforms out there that students can use, some, sorry, parents can use to monitor um, the, the student activity as it relates to classroom mm -hmm. um, online. So we, we do have that. There was training this week for teachers as well, mm -hmm. um, the different platforms that you can use within the Google Classroom. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think it was wise to have training for the, for the parents, because yeah. as you said, uh, at home, they had to have an idea, the skill to yeah. assist. I mean, of course, we know how to be, have some children who are more skilled, <laughs> who are more skilled than the parents. Far more, far more. Right, right. I mean, so. It seems like those children are born these days with a laptop and tablet in front of them. They just yeah. seem to have a natural, you know, nick right. to, uh, in terms of being able to have the technology, you but know. The, the, fear, the fear I may have, I have or some may have, is that 
we know that ministry has been trained mm -hmm. to facilitate the process where children don't have the, the, the yeah. devices. Um, is this still a big problem? Um, I think it is still a problem. I'm not mm -hmm. sure how big, how big it is, is. Yeah. but there, there is still a problem. Where some persons don't have access to technology, so mm -hmm. some students may use their cell phones. Mm -hmm. But when you use your cell phones, there's some things that you cannot access on the right. cell phones. Mm -hmm. you're, you're late to get it on the tablet, and then there's some things on the tablet you don't access. So it's yeah. better to use a laptop or a desktop. It's, it's appropriate. Yes. Most appropriate. Most appropriate, yeah, mm -hmm. for the online classroom. I'm going to ask a question that I hope is not too controversial, but I'm going to ask it nevertheless. <laughs> Will there be a gap? Will there be a gap? Oh, definitely. Yeah. Definitely. We cannot, there will be a gap. Research You're not says sure in some it instances <laughs> that it's two years, that it's going to be a two year wow. gap. Wow. Because when, when you think about it, um, okay, for no, we have been mandated, students can't spend the amount of time they would spend in face to face online. Mm -hmm. it's, it's unhealthy for you, just sitting up for an like, extended period of time. So, class periods have been reduced. So students get, um, for my school, there's a 25 minute period, 15 minute break. So classes that were 40 minutes have now been reduced to 25 minutes. Mm -hmm. The same amount of material is still expected to be covered. covered. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There's some persons who cannot learn, cannot engage. I, I, maybe cannot is not the best word, but I, I would use cannot in this type of environment. My personality does not like online at all, but that's my job, so I show up and I do the best that I can. Yeah. I prefer face to face, mm -hmm. and there's students who are like that. Yeah. So for some people, just, just being able to engage online does not work for them. Mm -hmm. So if that doesn't work for them, just being able to engage, being able to process the information that's coming at me, mm -hmm. is going to be a challenge, so they will be. They yeah. will be, yeah. You know, and, and, I, and I'm wondering though, um, as a, as a follow-up you know, to that particular question, mm -hmm. How, how will that be reflected in the evaluation process, both um, at the local level and also at the regional level? Because I'm thinking that that you know the whole online environment, as as, as was said, um, will work against some children based on their personalities, based on you access. know how they access. You know, lots of lots of factors are are there, and 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 so for those persons to be um, evaluated at the same level, and of course. I mean, there's a, there's a, I'm sure there's a long-winded question, but there's also a social dynamic that's involved here as well. Mm -hmm. uh, because if I can provide for my, for my child um, the, the best environment, uh, the fastest, next speed, a good device, the best uh, best, mm -hmm. th then they will have, obviously have an advantage yeah. Yeah. over the person who may not be able to do that, just mm -hmm. a cell phone. Mm -hmm. So, so I'm wondering how, will that, how has that been, been captured in the whole evaluation Process. You may be able to answer that question, but I mean, we can talk about it for a few minutes, maybe. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, if you have, sorry, Go ahead. Well, if you have a system in place where every form has a form teacher, um, every year level has a year head, so there are ways of checking in and, and doing assessments. When you realize that some students are not coming in um, for a subject, you check with the form teacher and say, well, I haven't been seeing this student in my class, I haven't turned up. Mm -hmm. That form teacher could check or should check with the other subject teachers to see, okay, is it just this class or is it something that's more basic? Right. Once you found that out, then you take the necessary steps that are there for your school, whether okay. it is the guidance counselor or the year head calls up a parent and they say, okay, I've noticed that your child hasn't been in class for this extended period of time. Could mm -hmm. you, you know, is it that they don't have a child's have device, you don't have internet access? So there are ways of monitoring and finding out what's going on. Mm -hmm. So when you find a child that's absent, um, there are steps that you can take, and the ministry has uh, systems in place as well to follow up. Mm -hmm. um, we have, if you're face to face as the truancy officer, right. uh, the same thing right. applies okay. for, for online yes, as well. Fine. But it means that you have to be on it. Yes. You have to yes. be on it. Because your child may be present, but absent too. That is that is that yeah. is that's, that's, that's the other issue. That's you know, the other um, issue. They, they, they may have the, the, the blur there, the circle. Okay. <laughs> that's why Janice mentioned the importance of having a video on. Right, they have the camera on to check in or to see what's going on. Yeah. Um, I, I, I want you to also, um, uh, Janice, if you want to, that's reinforce the, the whole idea of boundaries because that's so critical mm -hmm. to make it effective. You want to reinforce the idea of boundaries? You mentioned having boundaries. Uh, the boundaries. Setting boundaries. Right. Uh, well, the boundaries go on both sides um, mm -hmm. as it relates to the teacher ensuring that you respect the time mm -hmm. that is given. So if there's a 15 minute break, you encourage your students. Move from in front of the computer, walk around, go outside, get some sunshine, 
you know, do something apart from that mm -hmm. um, being in front of the technology, but then also as it relates to submitting assignments or, or the teacher sending them work mm -hmm. within that time, or even if you have to send it after because time is limited, mm -hmm. you know, you explain to your students, this is just for you to work on to hand in, not right away, mm -hmm. but at the, the given time, and, and this is why I'm doing that. So those boundaries, um, also as it relates to the, the conversations, Yes. not go on yeah. in the chat so right. then Important. students yeah. forget mm -hmm. that the teacher also sees the chat yeah if we were in face to face and two of you might be whispering and mm -hmm. i'm at the front of the class i may not hear mm -hmm. but i might say boys guys come on you should be talking now mm -hmm. but in the chat everybody gets to see mm -hmm. what is in the chat so even boundaries as to what is said mm -hmm. within that um, environment becomes important it's a well. whole new culture Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But it also offers us great opportunities too. It does. You know, I know some of you look at the at the downside, but I mean there are so many upsides to it in yes. terms of, of teaching, mm -hmm. um, to the methodology, to incorporating other yes. um, you know technologies in one's teaching in terms of video, yes. um, you know, and, and, and with a with a, a short population that is so visual, mm -hmm. I mean given given the nature of, of technology. Then being able to um, with it, just say chalk and talk, and you can add other things, you know, in terms of video and stuff. You, so it offers you scope for 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 good and healthy uh, engagement as well, too. Yes, yes. The, the, the other area you mentioned was the critical area of communication. Yes. You want to elaborate a little more? Um, as relates to communication, I think for everyone, you need to get comfortable um, being able to work with the technology mm -hmm. and being able to convey what you want to say. Uh, if I'm in face to face, my students could look at me and say, "Okay, Miss Gemma wants us to be quiet." And I haven't said you need yes. to be quiet, yeah. but they can look Your at me. Expression. Right? They can look yeah. at me and see that. Mm -hmm. um, but in the online, it's a little different, so mm -hmm. I have to mm -hmm. articulate that clearly, yes. and I, I also have to manage my words as well because mm -hmm. in the face to face, I may say something, and it may be taken very innocently. Yeah. But online, because you don't see me. Mm -hmm. You may not even hear my tone of voice. You may not be able to see my facial reaction. You have to be more careful how you have to be very say. careful with the words what that you say. use as and well. The tone. And the tone. Yeah. Um, and for the message that you want to convey. So communication is vital mm -hmm. across the board. But when you're online, yeah. um, you have to be intentional in what you do. So both teacher communication and, and stupid yes. students. Yes. yes. I guess I guess your your point is, is is well made because the other cues are not there. Right. Yeah. So yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. um, as we wind up, some any additional points you want to reinforce as we uh, teacher involvement. I think mm -hmm. is is also um, critical for teacher involvement because in in face to face, normally when you have your registration, the form teacher is there, and that form teacher helps to set the tone mm -hmm. for the rest of the day. When you have morning assembly, that sets the tone mm -hmm. for the rest of the day. Um, when we are in online, it's a little bit more challenging. You come into that same classroom, mm -hmm. you have you create the form teacher creates a form room, but again, it is what you do within that form room then that helps set the tone in this mm -hmm. online environment. Um, even absenteeism, the form teacher needs to be on top of that in connection. You know, mm -hmm. speaking with the parents and stuff like that to ensure that um, students are present and participating mm -hmm. so you're able to follow up on your students so you don't have that big gap mm -hmm. um, that you were talking about so that becomes very very mm -hmm. important so teachers stepping up to the plate as they have been mm -hmm. um, over this last year and a half and just ensuring that our students don't fall to the crack or that they're able to manage um, in this environment if you mentioned um, in your presentation the whole idea of allowing some space for children to interact yes Outside the subject area. Yes. Really, because as you said, if they were in a face-to-face -face environment, to be able to say how you're doing yeah. and so on, that is that is a beautiful facility mm -hmm. where children are allowed to yeah. you know, speak to one another and, and, and greet one another. And right. so on. But but I also I also want to uh, comment on terms of what um, John said though about um, I, I call it century, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. right? Um, you know, uh, ordinarily you have like, your prayers and that kind of stuff in the morning, it's kind of center. Um, but in the online environment, that doesn't necessarily obtain. Mm -hmm. And therefore, the ability to, to engage and to give, give to a, people a chance to kind of talk a little bit yes. about mm -hmm. where they are, how they're feeling, mm -hmm. um, it takes that place, you yeah. know, um, so that the child can feel a level of connection. Mm -hmm. uh, because the online environment sometimes is one where 
uh, brothers will feel quite disconnected, yes. you yes. know, um, and, and with all that's happening in families. Yeah. I mean, you have your parents at home, you have younger siblings at home, you have, you know, all kinds of things going on yes. in the background. Mm -hmm. um, and therefore, that, that ability just, just to engage, yeah. you know, those few moments to me are, are, very, are very useful. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think that's great. Yes. I suppose fully connected then with facilitate learning process. That's right. That's yeah. right. That's right. That's right. I guess. Mm -hmm. And there's some extracurricular activities that are can be done online as well. Okay. So I guess oh, yeah, nice. things like that right. can be done online. Okay. So you have that running um, at the normal time. You would have had it at face to face. Mm -hmm. That allows for other people mm -hmm. to be able to do some activities. No, I know that in a face to face situation, you can ask the child to stand up <laughs> if the child is misbehaving or stand go over the door, stand up or. Sometimes you may even ask a child to leave the class. Mm -hmm. Now, how do you discipline online? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Students have the power, parents have the power. Mm -hmm. um, what I'm doing is for your benefit. Yeah. So how much do you want this? Yeah. If you want this, then you're going to do what needs to be done. Mm -hmm. Because at the end of the day, you're going to be assessed. Mm -hmm. At the end of the day, you're going to need this to move forward. Mm -hmm. So it It's is, more persuasion than anything else. Mm -hmm. um, for want of a better word, yes. <laughs> but it is how, how do I Showing the value of yes. what they're doing. Yeah, showing them yes. the value of what they're yeah. doing. So a lot of what my HFLE classes would have been on, mm. how do I encourage, how do I motivate, how yeah. do I help them to see, okay, you need to show up. Yeah. You still need to engage, you yeah. still need to participate yeah. because this benefits you. You may yes. not like the environment, right. but it is still coming your way, so mm. how do you do that? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I guess it does put pressure on, on teachers, though. It yeah. does. You it know, does. Um, it does. And, uh, and, and, we, and we don't want to, to get that whole discussion again with different schools and that kind of mm -hmm. thing, you know, but it is professional teachers, though, because uh, there are some children that are more motivated than others. Yes. You know, and that's just, that's a, that's just a reality, mm -hmm. you know, and, um, and therefore that means that, I mean, as, as was said, that, that parents need to be the ones, <clears throat> or, the, or, the, or the person at home who are responsible mm -hmm. uh, needs to be the ones to, to help the child to, to yeah. understand the importance yeah. of making that connection, um, you know, in terms of his teacher. So I, th I think it's, it's a... Well, it's a, it's a cooperative effort. Yes. Mm -hmm. Teacher, yes. people, yes. parent, yeah. and in this new environment, because I suppose ultimately you want the, the better moment for the child, mm -hmm. and so on. Yeah. Well, um, Diane, thank you so much for sharing. I know that we can, well, perhaps we could just end by giving us one, uh, let's say, um, pointer, um, how, how do we psychologically help parents to be our children psychologically? Um, psychologically Co to cope? Mm -hmm. I guess, not guess, but um, being real, being truthful, helping okay. them to understand this is what it is. Mm -hmm. um, helping them to work within their capabilities, not limits, but within their capabilities, what okay. they're capable, capable of doing. Mm -hmm. And um, giving them that opportunity to step back when they need to, yeah. because sometimes I see how they feel. Yeah, they yeah. need to just step away from the technology for a day or two because mm -hmm. it becomes overwhelming. Mm -hmm. So we have to be sensitive. Um, yes, very very much so. Okay, Reverend Calvin, you're gonna have a closing prayer. Thank you. Um, pray for the teachers. Here is <laughs> Almighty God. We pause to say thanks to you today for this program of of enlightenment as it relates to. Uh, teacher student leadership in this COVID-19 environment. We pray, Father, for our teaching staff across our nation. We pray, Father, for your continued guidance and strength and wisdom and empowerment, Father, as they navigate a different kind of environment. We pray, Father, even though you'll grant to them all that they would need to, to ensure that that good uh, teacher uh, student uh, relations occur. And for I pray for students as well, I pray for parents, I pray God that they would see this whole process cooperative and they would do their part to ensure that that information is transmitted and that learning occurs. Father, we give you thanks for this time of difference and change. And may be used, Lord, to the furtherance of that whole process of teaching. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Well, thank you. Thank you so much, viewers. We appreciate your tuning in with us. And I trust you continue with us next week at the Zero Inn. Then on the teacher, the parent, pupil relationship. God bless you.